Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, October 28th, 2009. This morning I'd like to look at variable watches again in the debugger, specifically instance variable watches. So here I have the simple counter application that when I hit the plus button, the count goes up. What I'm going to do is go into this method again, the add one, and we're going to put the cursor right here at the beginning, and we're going to insert a probe. And for the probe, we're going to pick a variable watch and hit insert. At this point, we get this little window, and I want to pick instance variables. Now, it's going to give me a list of all the instance variables that are possible. Now, you might wonder, why do I have all these? The only one I know about in this class is count. Well, it turns out that I'm inherited from object and model, and in model, I have a whole bunch of things that I've inherited. So I'm going to just pick count here and hit OK. And then now I have my probe right there. I can come up here to this window, hit the plus button, and any time the instance variable I'm interested in changes, I'll get this. Now, notice this is 2 and it's 3 up there. That's because the probe is at the beginning of the method before it changed, not at the end of the method after it changed. So you're going to see a kind of trail behind the UI. But you'll notice that what's happening is I'm getting a reading at the beginning of the method as I enter what the value was before it enters, and then up here I can see what it was after it finished. So if there was something odd happening, like, I don't know, this was displaying plus 3 or 4 or 5 or something, I could see, well, here's what it was when it came in, here's what it is when it came out. So it's a way of having a persistent way of looking at a variable without actually having a break happen. So if you're just interested in tracking something, this is how you would do it. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.